coffee. Welcome. I recently got a Maltese puppy and I found camping with a dog is so much more fun than camping solo. I've taken him camping three times already. I'm still learning but wanted to share what I've learned so far. Well, the first tip is to camp in your garden for the first camp, if you can. This way you have an easy start and can always go inside the house if it doesn't quite work out. Let your dog get familiar around the tent. Then let him explore the area around the tent and settle when he is ready. Then show him inside and use treats so he knows the tent is a happy place. Remember, this is a strange environment for him, so he needs to get used to it. You can do this by throwing or placing treats into the tent and sort of enticing him inside. I mean, most dogs like to explore, so it isn't that difficult. But at the moment, he's just getting used to the tent. She went. That's it. Because it's a new experience, you have to build some good things relating to a tent. You like camping? I do hope you love camping. I don't know if, if a puppy or if he'll love camping or not. So just trying to ease him in gently. That's why it's always best to try things at home first. And then eventually, who knows, he could be a stealth camping dog. Sit. Good boy. This one, see? and then bring his favorite blanket and toy and place these in the tent so he knows the tent will be home for the night and he has his favorite things with him. What are we going here? Shi Wang's bag with treats and poo bags. In here, Shi Wang's blanket. Is that your blanket? And then Shi Wang's little toy. Put your toy as well. I'm going to put this in here now. There's your blanket and there's your toy. There you go, you sit on there. When you do venture out for your first camp outside, you'll need to make sure your dog stays close to you at all times. For this, I tie his lead to my backpack or a tree so he can't wander far. I then let him explore the surroundings and settle, then introduce him to the tent again using treats. Thing is with camping and with your dog, it gives great opportunities to walk and explore the area. So take your dog for a walk around the area if you can as well. And make sure you have water for him, food and bags to take away any waste. When bedtime comes, you may have to play with the toy briefly to settle your dog down. But when he does settle, there's nothing better than snuggling up in the tent together. I have taken him hammock camping too, and he was fine sleeping on top of me as he is small. But I think tent camping is better for most people, as you get more space. In the morning, there's nothing better than waking up outdoors with the dog. I think the house must be strange for the dog, but waking up in the woodland must be far more natural for him. Uh, he can immediately explore the area again and he gets a walk as well uh, when you walk back to the car or walk home. So these are just a few basic tips on what I've learned so far just camping a few times with my dog and I'm looking forward to many more adventures together. So thanks for watching this one and I hope you have many camping adventures with your dog. Leave any tips you have in the comments which would be most appreciated. And um, I look forward to seeing you next time. So bye for now.